landed in DC and it's freaking freezing. I'm keeping the mask on. All right. Thank you very much. All right, so the reason why I'm in DC is because of this. Imaging USA 2022. Oh, finally. Oh. It's the only thing about traveling, you gotta wear masks all day. Woo, this is nice. This is nice. I love the Gaylord Hotels. They are so, so good. Oh, right. <clears throat> Ooh, a little too close. There we go. Uh, there we go. Hi. So I just had the best flight ever. It was the most stress-free flight I've ever had. I had an entire row all to myself. It was, it was great. But I'm here for Imaging USA, and of course I brought some gear. I brought some gear. This is my gear bag, and uh, I kind of went the, the minimal route. Usually I kind of have a bag filled with camera gears and drones and all that stuff, but I kind of just wanted to pack a bag with just the essentials. And so, naturally, I'm gonna make a video about it. Hold on, where is it? Where is it? So I'm only here for like, three nights, four days and three nights, and this is all I brought. I got my backpack and I got my luggage, both carry-on items, and I didn't want to check anything in. I hate checking in luggage. This just takes so much time. I, I absolutely hate it. And so if I can get away with just one or two carry-ons, then I'm totally going to do it. The backpack that I chose to bring is the Nomadic Peter McKinnon, uh, well, like, what do you call this? It's not the travel backpack, but it's the, uh, what is it? It's the, uh, it's like the day pack one. And usually I only use this bag if I'm ever having days out with my family because camera gear in the bottom and diapers in the top. But before we get to the actual camera gear, I wanna show you the other things that I brought with me on this trip. All right, so first in the top compartment are the things that I usually like to bring whenever I travel. Uh, of course, I gotta bring a laptop because I usually do work when I'm traveling. And uh, this isn't a traditional laptop bag. Like there's no laptop compartment. So instead I bought this uh, this laptop case and it's actually pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of uh, in case laptop cases. There's a, a pocket sleeve over here if you wanna store an iPad or cables or whatever. I don't really put anything in that pocket, but the laptop that I, that I brought with me is of course my M1 Max MacBook Pro 14 inch. Got that D brand skin, looking all nice. So that's the laptop and that's the laptop case. And, uh, and if you wanna check out the gear that I mentioned in this video, links of course will be in the video description below. And then I also brought some headphones. These are my absolute favorite over the ear headphones. These are the Sony XM4 wireless headphones. I love these things so much. They're so good to edit with. You got noise canceling, active listening, and so just a really great set of headphones to, uh, to travel with and they also sound really good. And I usually bring this case with me because well, these headphones are pretty expensive. And so I just like to protect these and store them them in the case. Oh, okay, so this is like my favorite thing that I've bought this year. It is probably the best travel accessory ever, and it's this. What is it? This is a phone holder that you can mount to the back of an airplane seat where the tray is. All you have to do is just push this thing out and that clips onto the, the tray of an airplane seat. This totally beats like having to hold your phone the entire flight or having to rest your phone on the tray, which I, I don't like doing. And when I was flying here, I attached this to the tray while working on my laptop and was able to watch movies hands-free. So cool. And if you don't want to attach it to the tray, you can actually use it as a stand and put it on your tray and still watch movies on your phone hands-free. Really, really cool. I don't like that clacking sound though. It's kind of annoying, but definitely my favorite travel accessory so far. And uh, speaking of phone accessories, uh, I have this wireless charger. This is the Anchor wireless charger. It's pretty awesome. This is my iPhone 13 mini. And even though the battery is good, it's still not the best. And since this is a wireless charger, all I have to do is just connect this to my phone, push the button over here, and now it's charging. So cool. So there's that. And then uh, and then some practical things. When you're traveling and you're going through an airport, it's always a good idea to, to grab yourself like a, a water bottle and some snacks. And I think the best kind of snacks are chocolate, and so I got that. And then the last thing in the top part of my backpack is my tech pouch. This tech pouch is from Wandered. It's waterproof, uh, YKK zippers, and it's a really, really cool pouch. And check it out, look how organized this is. Man, I, I'm really good at organizing things. Like, I really am. Got all my cables from USB-C cables, USB-A cables. I even got this uh, SanDisk uh, SSD drive just in case I need to 
backup stuff. I got my Anchor dual port charger right over here. And then I got a couple of Sony batteries, uh, you know, just in case. And since we're talking about camera gear and travel accessories, if you wanna build up your gear for your future travels and save some money, Best Buy is the place to go to thanks to their Top Deals program. Now, if you haven't heard of their Top Deals program, it is so cool. So we're gonna go to the Best Buy website and near the top of the page, you're going to see Top Deals. Click on that and you're gonna see a list of all the top deals of the week, of the month, and just a bunch of deals where you can actually save some money. And since we're talking about travel accessories, like I can already see some products that I think would be great to travel with. Like we got these uh, wireless headphones over here. Let's go take a look at some of these deals. Oh, cool, you can actually get some wireless in your headphones by JBL for only $49. Like, that's a really good deal. Or if you prefer over-the-ear headphones like me, you can get the JLab Studio Pro, which only costs $79. That is, that is a really good deal. If you're looking for more accessories for your camera gear or even for your phone, there's a really cool tabletop tripod by Joby. This is the HandyPod Mobile. It looks pretty cool and only $29. And oh! Ooh, there's like a, a bundle where you can get the, the HandyPod mobile and a ring light and you get all that for $79. Nice. If you want to get the ultimate travel camera, GoPros are the way to go and you can get the new GoPro Hero 10 Black for $429. So you're saving $70 from the original price. If you're looking for a solid SSD drive to bring with you to back up your projects, then you can check out the Samsung T7 one terabyte external SSD drive for $114. You're saving $25 right there. That's a good drive. I, I personally have that one and that's that's a really good one. Or if you're looking for more of a rugged solution to back up your files, then you can check out the Lacie two terabyte portable hard drive for $99. Two terabytes, man. Anyway, you get the hint, but you can get all the tech products that you want for your future travels and save some money by going to bestbuy.com and checking out the top deals program. Thanks Best Buy for sponsoring this video. And now back to the hotel room. And then finally the camera gear that I brought. All right, here we go, ready? It's empty <laughs> because it's all laid out on the table. Oh boy, okay. I'm gonna cut away to a shot that I filmed in the airplane of my gear. There you go. That's all the gear that I brought. I got my Sony a7 IV, I got the Rode Video Micro, I've got an ND filter and a lens pen. That's it. This is a photography conference, and so my assignment is to take a lot of photos during the event, and so the a7 IV is the perfect camera for it, and also, I've been using the a7 IV way more than my a7S III. Like, it's starting to become my favorite camera. Like, I really, really love it. And then inside the camera, I've got two SD cards. One is a 256 gigabyte pro-grade SD card. Yeah, 256, it's, it's crazy. That's set into slot one, which will record video. And then on slot number two, which is where my photos will be, I'm using another pro-grade SD card, but this one is a 128 SD card. And I guess the only other thing that I brought with me is this first aid kit, because sometimes when I travel, I get headaches, I have allergies, I get cuts, and so whenever that happens, I have all this stuff. Whoops.